Robert, let's go final round of the AT&T National. Tiger Woods trying to become the first three-time winner on the tour this year. Pick it up on the 15th hole. The long birdie, but Tiger all day had the pace, had the line. Here, uh, yeah. Moves into sole possession of the lead at nine under par. But for the time being, Van Pelt, a much closer birdie putt. These two guys only a few months apart in age. Both Van Pelt said, hey, I'm very much looking forward to trying to beat Tiger on this day. So on 16, Tiger for Paul. Just misses to the left. Van Pelt, a chance to take a one-shot lead. Tiger knows it. This for Paul. He misses that, so Van Pelt taps in for bogey. Tiger, Van Pelt stay tied to the 17th. Van Pelt went over the green with his approach, so here, trying for the miracle shot. Drops it, no chance of keeping it close. He would bogey the hole. Meanwhile, Tiger using his driver, even though he has a one-shot lead, and he strikes it. 345 yards on 18. Tiger on the approach, a 9-iron from 180. Uh, yeah, catching the slope. Tiger in great position for the win. So now, Van Pelt needs a miracle. That would lead to a bogey, though. Tiger, well, he can make these. Taps it in. And another victory. Tiger's third win of the year. The only golfer to do that. An historic win for Tiger as well. There you see it, a two-shot win over Bo Van Pelt. Adam Scott finishes third. So Tiger Woods, a 74th career PGA Tour win that passes Jack Nicklaus for second on the all-time list. He's only now uh, behind Sam Snead. Now, this is what he did today. I mean, just amazing. 74th, 74th PGA Tour win. First player, three wins. 22nd win on PGA Tour when trailing entering the final round. His 74th PGA Tour win at 271 starts. That's a win percentage, get this, of more than one out of four times. This is the first time since September 2009 Tigers had led the money list and also led the FedEx Cup point standings at the same time.